guys, Chris Adichie Harrison is that Tom Holland has been cast as Spider-Man with James Watts to direct his solo film in 2017. Now, it says that they've worked with a number of up-and-coming directors who have gone on to be superstars, and they just believe that John was an outstanding talent. And it also says for Spidey himself, they saw many terrific young actors, but Tom Holland's screen tests were special, and all in all, it was off to a roaring start. Now, it also says that he's expected to make his first appearance in Civil War, so they didn't really, like, rush it out since it was only going to be a small cameo in order to introduce him into the MCU. Now, with some of the other news, it also says that after Underwear and Wings, we also know that they were looking for young people who had somewhat of a proven track record, even at such a young age. And it also says that uh, over the last two weeks, the decision was made to cut the list down to Levine and Watts and Melfi for director and Holland and Rowe for the role of Spider-Man. Sources did not reveal the exact reason why Sony and Marvel chose Holland, but as for what sources are now saying over the past 10 days, Levine and Melfi became frustrated with the process and were just made carry over to production and pulled themselves out of loud walks to move in and land a job. Now it does say that Holland was a bit of a stylish name as he was in a movie called The Impossible, which I've never heard of until now really. Um and it also says that as for Waltz, he's known he wasn't quite as well known as other directors, obviously. But it says he has some recent work on something called Cop Car, which was shown at Sundance, which is something else I've never heard of. So, hmm. Um, how I feel about this? Like I said, like I really seen none of their work. Most of the work they listen here, I've never heard of. Like I've never heard the impossible. I never heard of cop car. So those are completely different things to me. The completely new things to me. And I know from a lot of people they're saying, well, we haven't seen much talent from this guy, so we don't really know how to exactly feel about this. And uh, that's the same for me. Like, it's some good news to hear that, yes, they finally cast him after months and months of doing so, of getting this stuff worked out. It's just good that they finally got it casted. But um, as far as other things, just, well, he looks young, he looks like he can be like whatever age they're going for, uh, like the mid-teens. So, yeah, he seems right for the job. I just haven't seen anything that works. So, when I see them in the uh, Spider-Man solo film in 2017, it's really gonna be a surprise to me to see what they have in store and to see what kind of talent they deliver so it'll be really interesting to see that when that film eventually happens uh, in 2017 so it'll be quite a while to actually see what potential they have or at least for me but yeah that's just my thoughts right there tell me you guys think about this casting and directing news down in the comments below please like comment subscribe share and help do anything, help my channel out there. As always, it's Chris Fidget, and have a great day.